to these bad bitches. Accolades, got Will's son, no castaway. I'm twice as good, get half the praise. There was sniper up and out. What is up, guys? You're back with your boy THOG Reek, and I'm coming at you today with more Call of Duty 4 news. Yes, I know a lot of you are on that hate train bandwagon right now, and don't nobody want to know about Call of Duty, but you know what? It's coming! I'm going to keep dropping all the news and all the updates until the game comes out. So, today, Call of Duty 4 Remastered, uh, I did find an article today on GameSpot.com that actually goes through and gives out more information about some of the multiplayer maps that are going to be coming out in the remastered edition of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this article here. Uh, this is from, again, from GameSpot.com. Uh, you know, just scrolling down here, it tells you that there are three of the ten multiplayer maps that they've already released already. I mean, everybody already knows this is going to be Crash, Backlot, and Crossfire. Well, yesterday, they decided to go through and release two more. So, two more multiplayer maps that have been confirmed for the remastered edition of Call of Duty 4 is going to be Bog and Overgrown. I actually had to scour the internet, you know, when I, when I saw this article to see if there's any truth behind this. And to be honest, you know, these are actually fan favorites. I mean, going through and looking up some of the maps that everyone loved to play these names come up a lot bog overgrown crash backlog crossfire i mean people love these maps and the mere fact that in infinite infinity war they're actually going through and listening to the community with as, you know as far as what maps to bring back i mean this is insane i actually do have a remaster comparison a graphics comparison and I'm gonna be showing you guys right now just so that you can see the differences between the 2007 version and the new upcoming 2016 version check it out from current console generations it's going to look vibrant it's going to brilliant it's going to look like something amazing um, when you play this game um, also the sounds are being reworked there's audio rework being done revamping all that there's new foley that was recorded um, different things like that especially new techniques too since 2007 the game came out which is ten it's hard to believe it's been that long <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's nine or ten years which is crazy to think about and um, you know there's a ton of te techniques so like dynamic lighting's been worked in new visual effects you know, just a lot of a lot of processing and a lot of um, you know new tech that's been pushed on there yeah well we've talked a lot about the campaign and we all have our like you know like damn dude I'm telling you they are putting so much work into this remaster i mean dude it, it looks insane compared to you know the 2007 edition they, they are really doing a lot of work kudos infinity ward i mean you guys are really doing great work i don't care what nobody says i haven't even seen infinite warfare yet so i'm not gonna hate it i'm not gonna judge it until i try it don't knock it till you try it guys i mean you guys are just hating on something that you don't even know about yet i mean seriously be intelligent Anyway, I'm going to go back to this article here because a lot of people have been saying, well, you know what, I'm only getting Infinite Warfare or the Legacy Edition just so I can play the remaster. Well, you know what, Activision's not even worried about that. You know, scrolling down this article, you can see right here where they li they literally state they really, don't they really don't care that they're dropping both. They're not worried about the possibility that people are going to play Modern Warfare over Infinite Warfare. You know, I mean, come on, dude, two Call of Duties in one year. That is just insane. It's mind-blowing. So, I mean, you have those die-hard Call of Duty fans that only want boost to the ground. They don't want all this boosting. They don't want all this thrusting and wall running and stuff like that. You know, they want to slow it back down. They want to go back to some of the old days that Call of Duty was known for. So, those die-hards are going to have a chance to play the remastered Modern Warfare Edition. For those individuals that really don't care and they like the futuristic style gameplay, they have Infinite Warfare. So, you know, they're actually catering to two different types of people right now. And I mean, these people are going to be happy. Activision is not worried in one bit about the fact that people are only getting the Legacy Edition just to play the Modern Warfare Remastered. 
Now, just a little bit of an update. They have already stated there is no plans in the near future to only release the COD 4 Remastered Edition. If you want COD 4 Remastered, you got to get Infinite Warfare, okay? So that's something that you guys should know about. You know, I, I know it kind of sucks, but whatever. I mean, you're only paying a couple of extra bucks. You get two damn games, all right? You're getting two games. So just calm down, take a chill pill, get your damn games. It'll give you a chance. You get tired of playing, you know, Infinite Warfare, you can play COD 4 Remastered. You don't find enough lobbies in there, go back to Infinite Warfare, all right? Plain and simple. So, going into my next topic today is a little statement that keeps going around Twitter, keeps going around YouTube, and it's just, dude, it's, it's driving me nuts. It's really pissing me off, all right? You know, and this is something that, that really, really touches, you know, like this little area of my heart because... You know, I actually had a family member that did suffer from this. And, you know, anytime I go and I start reading some of the Twitter comments and I start reading uh, some of the tweets that are going on, some of the YouTube comments, there's always this one super douchebag that says, get cancer. You kidding me? Get cancer. Like, you're, you're, make, you're taking something that's, I mean, dangerously serious and you're making a damn joke about it. Like, you, you, this generation of entitled freaks, like, there's something wrong with you kids. Who says get cancer? Why would you wish cancer on someone? Do you even know what it's like to have someone get cancer and die from it? I do. I mean, may, may, may her soul rest in peace. My mother passed away from cancer a couple of years back. And the mere fact that you idiots are going around social media using the statement get cancer and die like seriously or kill yourself i mean come on man the other one is get this game is aids or this is aids like do who the hell makes fun of something that serious y'all motherfuckers y'all need some help like seriously you motherfuckers me off to the point that i just i gotta calm down gotta calm down breathe Woosa. anyway Getting on to another piece of news that's been going around the internet lately is yesterday uh, in Rosebud, Texas, the McLennan County Sheriff's Office found an IED under the bridge. Now, for some of you guys that have no idea where Rosebud, Texas is, here's a map. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a map. It's actually just south of Waco near Killeen. Now, if you guys really don't know where that is, that's actually around the Fort Hood Army Base. So you guys really need to be careful out there. I don't know what it is that you guys are thinking about building IEDs and putting it in Texas. Like, do you guys not understand that Texas is the most patriotic state in the United States of America? You guys are messing with people that have guns on top of guns on top of guns. Keep pissing these guys off. Somebody gonna get shot. Anyway. I really appreciate everybody coming back and sticking with me, listening to all these updates. I got some more updates coming up later on. I'm going to be scouring the internet, making sure I get all this good news for you guys. And yes, Call of Duty is going to be the main topic of every episode. Thank you guys for stopping by. Please make sure to do all of that cool YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, share. Catch you guys later. Deuces.